I feel you, man. I mean, I suppose technically we're always living through future historical times, but it seems in the past few years these more significant events have been back-to-back -back and will most definitely be in our grandchildren's history books. You got COVID. We locked down the country. We destroyed almost all small businesses. You couldn't work if you weren't deemed essential by politicians. Now talk about a non-essential worker. Which, in combination with shutting down the economy for so long, absolutely contributed to the silent depression we're living through now. You got the Afghanistan withdrawal. Looked like something out of a Christopher Nolan movie. Thousands of people chasing after planes taking off, clinging onto landing gear. Helicopters using rotor wash to clear runways. Fucking horrible. The George Floyd riots, otherwise known as the Summer of Love. They made their way to almost every major city in America and billions of dollars in damages were done. If businesses weren't already screwed from COVID regulations, this one finished them off. The rise of fake news. The media has become so brazen in how they report these days, it's astounding. In place of investigative journalism is now, well, lying. Now, if that's not bad enough, we have their ties to government and Big Pharma. Brought to you by Pfizer. SpaceX privatizing the space exploration effort. The James Webb Telescope successfully deploying and knocking the Hubble Space Telescope way out of the water as far as capability. Quantum computing, which is basically fucking magic. Of course, magic is only science we don't currently understand, so there's that. Jeffrey Epstein. Still waiting on that list. I actually have an interesting take on what may have really happened to him, but that's probably for another video. Cryptocurrency. I may or may not have misplaced a few hundred bucks on that hype train. And of course, how could I forget possibly the most important event that will go down in history as the tragedy of the early millennium. Harambe. Sweet, sweet Harambe. Imprisoned at birth and murdered, all because a child decided to test the validity of survival of the fittest. Turns out it doesn't exist. Rest in peace, you beautiful primate.